Hey there folks, today I've got a battle using a team that I'm not retiring. This is an NU battle using my Val team against JSmove101. Uh, this battle predates Embor rising to NU, or rising from NU to RU, which is why you're seeing it on this team. And despite the fact that Embor is now RU, I'm not retiring this team if Embor stays RU, which I highly doubt is going to be the, the case. Uh, I have backup plans, but... Otherwise, I will continue using this team as is. Anyway, I lead off with my Vermilion, not going to want to stay in against a possible Focus Blast, so I go out into my Skuntank, whose only whose main purpose on this team is to trap Psychics. He stays in and goes for Safeguard, and now goes for a Destiny Bond, so very unconventional Gardevoir set, I'm quite impressed, and uh, he's going to take me out with his Destiny Bond as he loses his own Gardevoir. This is more than a fair trade, I am 100% fine with this, because... Uh, Skuntank's primary purpose was to take out Psychic types, and he has no more Psychic types. And, you know, yeah, it would have been nice against Ludicolo, but beyond that, eh, not really important. So anyway, he goes out into Armaldo, I go back out into my um, Vermilion. We each set up Stealth Rock, and here I'm going to go for the Head Smash. I don't think he was expecting Vermilion to hit quite this hard. I do manage to take him out with a Head Smash. No crit or nothing, so I'm pretty happy about that. I don't think he realized it was super effective. So anyway, gonna withdraw Vermilion here, not wanting to take the Giga Drain. I go out into Tachikomo, betting on the fact that he's not gonna go for Ice Beam. Uh, most Ludicolos, I think, do carry the Ice Beam. Although, I guess the sub Leech Seed sets can only carry two moves, in which case you don't go for Ice Beam. But anyway, as I was, I was just a little distracted, Safeguard wears off there, which means I can go for Confuse Ray. I'm going to hit his Reggie Ice, and the fact that he switched out into Reggie Ice leads me to believe that he doesn't carry the Ice Beam on his Ludicolo. Just a guess, uh, otherwise I think he would have stayed in. Going to withdraw Tachikoma. Not going to want to stay in for the Ice Beam. Go out into Vermilion to resist the Ice Beam. He is going to actually go for the T-Wave. Okay, fine. Uh, Vermilion doesn't really mind being slow because it's already pretty slow. And here, I'm just going to go for a Head Smash as he hits himself in the Confusion. No idea what move he went for. I go for the Head Smash and that is now two Head Smashes and two Pokemon down. No misses so far. That's awesome. Uh, go, go Vermilion. Yeah, Vermilion, by the way, is named after uh, the restaurant uh, near where I live where I first had rockfish. Oh my god, that, that place ruined me for rockfish. I can't have rockfish anywhere else because it was so damn tasty. Uh, switch out into my Altaria because don't want to take a Giga Drain. And now, here's the moment of truth. If he has the Ice Beam, he will go for it here. I'm just going to go for the Heal Bell. Interesting that I outspeed considering I don't think I have any speed investment in my Altaria. So that leads me to believe he's probably a bulkier set, but the fact that he hits... So he doesn't take me out with an Ice Beam, which is kind of interesting. Um, although I, I'm thinking that he's probably modest 252 special attack, 252 HP. That's just a guess. Uh, I will let you know in the annotations whether the calc support that. So here he goes for the Scald, I guess expecting me to go out into Embor. I don't do that because there was no reason to. And here I'm just going to go for a Dragon Pulse just to get some damage off on him. Doesn't really do very much and he's going to KO me with an Ice Beam. I basically just needed the free switch into someone else. And I didn't really see any Pokemon that I could freely switch into. I guess my own Ludicolo would have been an okay switch. But, you know. So anyway, I go out into Tachikoma here and I'm thinking, eh, let's just take him out with an Ice Beam. Uh, an Ice Beam, I'm sorry. Air Slash. And that should be an easy KO because I am modest. He to actually survive, so obviously a bulkier set, quite obviously. He takes me out with a Scald, which is, you know, considering it's not super effective, leads me to believe that it's probably running considerable special attack investment. So now I go out into Embor. At this range of health, I should be able to KO quite easily. He's probably expecting me to go for a Flare Blitz. I don't take the bait, and instead I go for a Thunder Punch, and that's going to hit him pretty hard. Uh, uh, I'm going to go for a second Thunder Punch, and as you're going to see, I get a crit, but the crit did not matter. I will put up the calcs, but the calcs say that uh, after Stealth Rock damage, Thunder Punch guaranteed to a KO. Here he goes out into Murkrow. Kind of an interesting move, I guess, but he, it's not like he has too many Pokemon left. He goes for the Feather Dance, and that's annoying, because now I'm thinking, God, how am I going to take this guy out? Because if he carries any kind of Flying-type move, Ludicolo is not going to be a great option. Uh, anyway, go for Thunder Punch again just to get his health down low enough that I'm pretty sure this is going to be a free switch. So I go out into Vermilion. 
So he's going to go for Roost as expected, so this is great. Now I am not sure whether after a Feather Dance I can KO him with a Head Smash. Uh, I will post those calcs in the annotations, but it doesn't matter because he goes for Taunt. I have no idea why he went for the Taunt. Did he think I was going to go for uh, Rock Polish? No idea, but I take him out. Vermilion 3 for 3 with the Head Smashes, which is great considering Head Smashes subpar accuracy, and that's so freaking amazing. Here I switch out, not because I mind foddering Vermilion, this is his last Pokemon, but because I mind him regaining all that health with Giga Drain. So, he goes through the Giga Drain here, he's going to recover quite a bit of health. Uh, actually, not that much, uh, now that I look at it, but I figure I'm going to go for the Giga Drain here, and I don't actually take him out, so it doesn't look like I have a, quite enough firepower to take him out. Uh, he's just too darn bulky for that, so here he shows me he's got the synthesis, so... This is going to be long and drawn out because I can't take him out with a Giga Drain and uh, he can't do anything to me. I mean, my, I'm regaining health way faster than he's de uh, dealing out damage uh, considering I am Life Orb. So he's going ahead and going for more Syntheses. Syntheses? I guess that's the plural of Synthesis. But anyway, I'm thinking I'm just probably going to have to stall him out of Syntheses. Um, that sounds so awkward, but uh, there's not really much I can do. Basically, I, uh, it's fine if he KOs me with hacks or whatever. I just need to... Yeah, so he gets the burn here, so he's going to be getting more residual damage. doesn't matter if my Ludicolo dies, because as long as he's not at full HP, Embor can revenge kill. I will put up the calcs in the annotations. I'll tell you what range of health he would have to be at. But the calc I did suggested that basically anything under full... But I think that calc was assuming uh, neutral uh, defenses, so probably he needs to be around 75% in order for Embor to take him out with a Flare Blitz. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go for a synthesis myself, just thinking, well, let's go ahead and stall him out. I don't think I'd done the calc, and I don't think I'd necessarily known the Flare Blitz would take him out. So, we're now both at full HP. I'm just going to Giga Drain. I'm just going to keep on Giga Draining until I run out of Giga Drains, or until he KOs me, or whatnot. I don't know. He goes for the Ice Beam, which is kind of a weird move. I think I can't be put... I can't be frozen. Um, and... Uh, Giga Drain does more damage. So, I don't know, maybe he's saving the Giga Drains for later? Not sure, but here I get a crit, and yeah, that crit was needed to end this battle, but again, all it did was end the battle because I had Embor for revenging. So, that is good game, JSmooth101. Hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.